Hey guys, Mr. Catcom, and this is my quick uh, video of, or an unboxing of the powered, uh, sorry, Saber, powered by Revo Tech, Fate Stay Night um, action figure, I guess, or this figure. This is this is a non-scale action figure from Fate Stay Night. That's what it says right here. Um, let's take a look at the box. Look at the Revo Tech joints. Photos, post photos. I did notice maybe because this is a non scale, that's why it was so cheap. It was like $15, but I always wanted a Saber uh, figure. I wanted the regular one, and I guess maybe that's a real, this, that isn't a non scale. But the other one came with a sheath for the sword, and I noticed unless I'm missing something, there isn't a sheath inside here. So, no sheath for me. Let's open this guy up. Ripping my box. Where is my Sharpie, Sharpie, Sharpie? Wasting video time. Let me just see if I can pull this off. Uh, this is a pain in the butt. All right. So let's see what it comes with. Vivo Tech joint book with some more figures. I gotta get this guy sometimes. Evil Eva um, or Ava, I should say. Ava Type F. Here's a different stuff that uh, Vivo Tech offers. Japanese writing that I can't read. Some more kits that I never saw. Well, some of them I never saw this clear one right here, clear one. All right, set for that. Let's open it up. Oh, that's kind of nice. As a, is that a piece of paper I can take out? It has this Fate Stay Night uh, kind of like paper. I guess I gotta stick that in the back. Nothing else in the back. Alright. Oh, so it does come with a stand. Comes with a simple Rubel Tech stand that I probably will never use. I might use it goes like this and she kind of sits on the top here or whatever all right so let's take her out all right, first we got the clear sword when it's invisible which looks pretty nice so we can get the focus in guess it doesn't want to but nothing really special about it it is nice and let's take her other sword out of her hand. She won't let it go. Regular sword. I can't remember if it was called the Excalibur. Probably was. Probably need to turn this around. There you go. Too busy focusing on the back picture. So that's the sword. And here's the other sword. Clear. And here's the sword side by side. Alright, so let's take her out. And here is. Yeah, forgive me, I'm still figuring out how to use this uh, tripod. Alright, so. And bend sideways, and you can see like a separation in the armor, so she can do different poses. Move her arms around, ribbon in the back. It's kind of cool. Her skirt is on uh, ball joints or the Revo Tech joints, right there. I guess so. 
Oh, hey. And she has a regular, like, underwear one. Or longings, I should say. Not un well, I guess technically it is underwear. <laughs> I gotta take those off. Wow, her legs just popped off. like her fly mode or something and I like the Reval joints they're real nice all right so that's about it um, got a couple things I got to do so I probably won't be able to fully review the, review her but if there's any other questions or anything else you guys want to see um, just leave it in the comments and I will, you know, answer them. And one other thing I kind of don't like about this kit, and I don't know if the other one is different, um, they didn't give me separate hands or a face. It's just the kit, and I think the other one did come with um, multiple faces and whatnot. And her hands, I only get the clothes one. But that's okay, she's going to be using the stories all the time anyway, so it don't matter. Alright, well, thanks for watching the review, and leave your questions in the comments. Peace.